about to show you the one and only way to remove hard water spots from your vehicle, especially black vehicles. See those? Still there. Now my truck just kind of stinks, but the water spots are still there. What's up guys? So I've had an ongoing problem with water spots on my black, a gate black 2019 F-250. Uh, you know, you look up anywhere and they'll suggest to use vinegar. It doesn't work. It doesn't. I don't know why people keep saying that it does. It doesn't work. Maybe like surface you know just dirt <clears throat> but it's not going to be any better than just washing it with like reg regular car soap so i found a product that actually does work and i will show you guys it and how to apply it all right we're going to take a walk outside i'll show you what you're going to need and it's actually a pretty decent day outside things you will need. You'll need a quality plush cotton rag and then just a microfiber rag and some gloves for when you're applying this product here. And this will actually remove any wax or sealant on your paint so you're gonna have to use some sort of sealant I found this one Wolfgang to work pretty good um, I haven't had any issues after I've applied it since I've removed the water spots so let's get to it. so what I did is I did a 50 50 split so I'm gonna do two ounces of water distilled water let's take a little out Two ounces of distilled water, and then two ounces of this. Okay, now that I got my, my mixture in there, we will start to apply it to the areas that I have not. So, I hope you can see that. It's clean. be better there you go all right so we're gonna take all those off I mean there is no way I wash this thing constantly and you cannot get them off they're not gonna come off with just soap so you take this apply a little bit let's soak in don't really want to get it on much else. Not really worried about the toolbox, but okay. So we're good to go. We're gonna start. Just rub it. Just keep rubbing it, and this is gonna remove any wax or any coating you have on here but it's removing 
water spots as well. I don't know if you can see them. There they are. There's where I just wiped. See them disappearing. And this is alright for glass too. I mean, you can get this on the glass, it's not gonna hurt it. Unless you have a really bad etched glass. But I mean, nothing. Come over here, you see all that? I'm gonna start wiping. See how it just gets rid of it? And this is diluted, you know, this isn't full strength. I didn't want to risk any issues here. Gone. I mean, they are gone. I mean, you may even be able to see it better on the glass. Takes a little longer on the glass for some reason, I don't know why. But, I mean, you can see where I just wiped it. Right there, and then move over see all that all right so I'm gonna clean this off with glass cleaner and I'll show you the comparison from this panel to that panel right. so this is cleaned with glass cleaner so is that one but this is all I get all the water spots off all this it's all clean all the way around I didn't do this one yet See the difference? You can see them all. But I got off the paint all the way, all the way around. It's all, all removed. Water spot, no water spot, no water spot. All right, completely de-water spotted now. What I would, what I'm gonna do, or I suggest you do, is rain excess all this glass to protect it from happening again, and then I'm gonna coat all the paint and re-protect all of it. So there you have it, guys. A little elbow grease, but you know, no more water spots. Nothing. I wanted to mention that <clears throat> water spot remover is acid, so don't get it on your skin. I mean, it's not gonna instantly burn you or anything, but it's not good to breathe either. So you might wanna get like just a little mask or something. So keep that in mind. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Also, thumbs up.